So to Tampa and Andy, who was there on location, with more on how Brady continues to rewrite the record book. Oh, you little stinker. That's not Andy at all. That is Coy Wire. <laughs> Coy, where are you? Hey, <gasps> Wait a minute. Are you in New London, Ohio? I am in a, are you, you in know, my hometown? NFL season openers. Yeah, I'm in your hometown, New London, Ohio. That's right. And the NFL season opener is a pretty big deal, but you my friend. And how you've woken people up with your morning sunshine for two decades is a much bigger deal. I'm here in New London where I have learned so much about you, how you are, why you are the way you are. The people here are so welcoming, going out of their way to say hello, make you feel at home. You know, you can't go five feet in this town of about 2,600 people without someone telling a story about Robin Mead from your infectious laugh to uh, a kind act. We've learned so much about you, about what makes Robin so special. This little town of New London has a lot to say about their hometown star. The pride of New London. She was a role model to me in every aspect. She treated everyone with, I think, respect. But to know Robin, you have to know how it all started. Robin Michelle Mead has been a fighter since the day she took her first breath. I was born premature, my mother says. They told us she wouldn't last through the night, not to buy any little dresses. Isn't that horrible? But Robin would make it through that night and many, many more. In fact, that determined baby would grow up to have big dreams. I think we were about six or seven the first time we played news. And she was always the anchor and I was her weather girl. Mary Ann Wilson has been Robin's friend since they were knee high to a gumdrop. She would give us assignments. Her sister was usually the manager or the camera person. And um, her younger brother would usually add sports into the mix. And we would record them and, and just really perform for her parents. I knew from a very young age that this was what Robin was destined to do. Robin would hone her performance skills throughout her high school years. Her assistant principal and her friend pulled out the school yearbook to show us. There she is her freshman year. Robin was a cheerleader. She was in the pep band where she choreographed their dances and she became very active in show choir. An outstanding school citizen. That, uh, that's overall probably my best memory of uh, Robin. As much as Robin had going on, there was one dream that she was going to keep alive. Here it says, as far as her future dreams are concerned, Robin told the members of the audience, quote, to attain a degree in communications at Malone College. I hope to follow in the footsteps of Diane Sawyer. Robin's grit and determination paid off. She would realize her dream of becoming a broadcaster, first in Miami, then Chicago, then joining HLN, where she holds the title for the longest running anchor of a national morning TV news show. Robin's high school math and choir teachers aren't surprised that it's Robin who holds that prestigious title. Amazed maybe at times just well how she continues to grow and how she reaches her audience but not surprised. She got along uh, well with uh, anyone whether it be uh, a president or whether it uh, be uh, just an ordinary person. And, uh, she just had a special talent for uh, being part of the uh, group. Well, Robin, I have a few more surprises for you here from New London, oh, Ohio. You may family. recognize this crew right here. We have Mr. Lenny, Ms. Sharon, your mom and your dad. We have your niece and nephew. We have Carl and Heather here. We have the mayor, Mr. Toby Thomas in house. And I got to have dinner with your family last night. Sister Tom was there. Kevin, your brother, was here earlier today. And it's just been incredible to get to know you. Uh, you know, more about you. Uh, Mr. Lenny, I, I have to ask, you know, one of the things we love about Robin is when she wakes us hat. up with that energy, she says, morning sunshine, and Pops told me where morning sunshine came from. Yes. Morning sunshine. Long time ago, Robin. But it, it's still it did effective. Come from Dad. You've put our little town on the map. You gave us all something to be thankful for. And God has blessed you from day one, even until now. We love you so much. Congratulations, hon.
We oh, love yeah, that you, you taught Robin morning sunshine. Walk into your room, and when you were trying to lay in bed a little longer, morning sunshine, let's go. And he would start clapping those hands if he had to. <laughs> now, Mom, Miss <laughs> Sharon, um, you know, one of the things I love about Robin, she's always thinking about the viewers. Okay, so how does this news pertain to me? Like, wh how, how she cares about others, and that goes way back, doesn't it? It does. Um, I remember in her high school years, the students used to exchange their, their school pictures. And uh, one evening after school, she had laid some pictures on the counter. And being the nosy mom I am, I went over and uh, <laughs> looked at the pictures and turned them over to read who and who wrote what. And on one particular picture, a young lady had written to Robin, a girl that makes everybody feel like somebody. And uh, this particular individual was not in the in crowd or the popular kids, and yet she felt like Robin made her feel like somebody. And it all makes sense why Robin is the way she is. Now, I want to I go to you now, Mr. Toby Thomas. You know, you have been so welcoming. Everyone here is so kind. So thank you for having us here, and thank you for helping us celebrate Robin. Uh, what does it mean to have uh, Robin represent New London? Oh, amazing. Well, it's just awesome, Corey, and to, to see that, and everybody, from the time that she started, um, you know, Miss America and Miss Ohio and things like that, um, they've kind of focused on that. And I think just seeing her in the morning, that gives us hope that all these young people have opportunities ahead of them that they'll never, never understand until they get that dream back. Wow. So. so well said and so well deserved, Robin. We are so proud of you. You know, I didn't realize you weren't always a morning person. Uh, your sister Tondra told me a story how, you know, you would run in the house and you would uh, kick off one shoe here, play the piano along the way over there, lose another shoe. Well, that would make you late. And your bus driver, Mr. Smiley, used to honk the horn. Where's Robin? Where's Robin? She can't find her shoes. <laughs> but now it's you're so the awesome true. morning show person. Uh, it's so true. And we have another surprise for you here. Uh, so we brought... Some some friends from New London High School. We have the band. So Could I maybe get a drum roll, please? <gasps> the New London band! Robin, I want you to look up there. Oh. This sign right here, New London, Ohio, says hometown of Robin Mead. Forevermore, yeah. when people come to this place, to this town, they know that you too came from New London, Ohio. Oh my gosh, that's incredible! You're kidding me! That is fantastic! And Robin, that's so not all. Toy. You know, there are actually four of these set signs. One on the north side, the south side, the east and the west. All four signs say, hometown of Robin Mead. So it is a wonderful thing to be able to be here uh, for you. And from the place from which you came, Robin, um, you know, you mean so much to so many people, um, and, and I've realized where that all started. Uh, here are the other signs, as you can see, throughout Amazing. this place, throughout New London. Uh, yeah, and it was okay, it was just I really special to, to see the place where. Coy, you you, I'm yeah. completely surprised. I had no idea. I'm on. You you knew you grew up in New London. If Facebook page, nobody let out a peep. Nobody ruined the surprise. The band is there. <laughs> My heart to keep is in this hometown. Here. And everything that I am is a result of the people that you just saw. And I am just so grateful that a kid from the middle of the cornfield was able to come and, and do this and um, just be a start. Of you our are morning. our morning sunshine. So we thank you from the bottom of our heart. And to take us to the break, Robin, we're going to let the band do their yeah. thing. Yeah. We love Rock you, Robin. Yeah, band. Oh, wait, I have my baton. Yes. Ooh.